Hey, it's Travis at Barna Parts. Just want to talk a little bit about some upgrades I have available for the uh, 19 and up Viper and Sidewinders with a one inch axle. Um, I've been selling fourth wheel kits for a couple seasons, you know, basically some spacers. And, uh, you know, the spacers are all machined to accept wider bearings. You know, some of these heavy duty wheels that I sell have a uh, wider bearing in them. But if you want to use the OEM wheels, um, then you just basically add some shim washers, which I include. So it's nice. It gives you versatility. You, know, you can utilize your stock wheels uh, if you're not ready to spend money on better wheels. Um, and then you can always upgrade them at a later date. So the biggest complaint people have um, is the plastic. You know, the plastic standoffs that, are come, that come on these machines from new. Um, so this year I've designed... You know a replacement version of the plastic and it basically just it's a bill with aluminum components here um, so if you're using OEM wheels you know you have to use a shim washer on the outside but if you're using uh, heavy-duty wheels you don't need to use the shim washer um, so basically we would provide you know the new components for the outside of the rail and then uh, you know on the inside you would just have an aluminum pipe uh, versus an extra, you know, extra plastic pieces in the inside of the rails. Um, one thing you'll notice, um, we've done away with the protrusion on the backside. You know, the stock standoffs have this protrusion. And, you know, there's really no need for the protrusion. Um, you know, we've run a deep, a deep bore on that hole there for the tensioner bolt to sit in. So that pins it. It can't, it can't rotate. Um, and uh, when you eliminate the protrusions on the back side, it also gives you a little bit more range of adjustment. Um, you know, with that rectangular protrusion, you know, it, it bottoms out on the rail slot sooner versus, you know, if you don't have it there. So you can loosen the track a little bit more, uh, give you a little more slack when trying to take a skid in and out. Um, and then if you've got a track that's really stretched and ballooned, you know, you also gain a little bit of extra adjustment. Uh, you will have to get slightly longer bolts because the bolt heads will bottom out on the rail, you know, before you'd be able to utilize that full extra range. But, uh, yeah, not a major advantage, but just definitely a perk for, for some. Um, the other thing we've got, too, for the newer 19 and up is these nut holders. These are the same from 14 and up. Um, and there's been some of these on the market. Nothing innovative. Um, just... Uh, just offering a better quality of material over, you know, the cast cast piece. You know, these are these are machined from billet aluminum, and it fully encapsulates the nut and uh, direct direct replacement. Just extra peace of mind, um, which is why I build most of the stuff that I make. So if you've got any questions, um, you know, don't hesitate to give me a call. I plan to get some of this stuff together, priced out, and in the online store in the next week or so. Thanks for watching.